there, Natasha with Natasha Scrapbook Corner, and um, I've been inspired by uh, Karen, which is uh, JB Lady Scrapper 48 here on YouTube, and she was uh, working with the uh, bottle caps. Um, there is few that I made, and she didn't want to do it on the camera. She said she's a uh, clumsy maker on a camera but um, it's all not true <laughs> she's very talented and to get those results it's just amazing hi Karen by the way um, I wanted to share with you how I made those and um, I will include the link below to Karen's um, suggestion list um, on her video because she uh, has huge amount of ideas so I'll just add a few and I'll show you how I made those um, I wanted to show you the difference between these two you see one is a little bit sparklier than another one and the difference is that um, I applied my um, fine glitter um, uh, diamond clear from the rubber cafe on top of the glossy accents and it gets that foggy frosty um, look then this one I applied the uh, uh, glitter on the paper image and then glossy accent it uh, inside okay and I'm using just regular uh, metal caps with the liner inside and Karen said to take it out I tried it's quite challenging so I'm just working with those not a problem and um, here's her by the way uh, video bottle cap charms from 72612 just right there all that she made I will include the link below but let's start and um, what I'm doing um, to color oh if I will show you the back of my caps that how they look after I'm done with it I'm using the um, alcohol inks and um, whichever color you want and I'm using uh, uh, because the alcohol inks they are translucent and this is actually ginger alcohol ink so they kind of see through so if you will add the max uh, uh, mixative uh, gold or silver um, it will help you to have uh, um, something like that okay it's really cool effect if you are um, if you want you know cover the back of your um, regular bottle cap but another way to um, cover and I'm not gonna over with the with the um, suggestions but there were a few things that um, Karen mentioned um, she um, adds like a doilies I'm sorry <laughs> well it's huge doily but she um, actually craft a, li a little doilies and she hands up the charms you need to see uh, you can use a little crochet flower and attach it on the back and it covers those you can purchase from my store I have those or you can use um, the clay flowers and glue them right in there that will give you that um, let me show you on this one that will give you that you see really nice look or you can actually um, punch out the same image on the back and you will have like the other image inside okay and just glossy accent that as well or another thing I was trying to do you have your beads uh, you have the glitter um, you have the flocking powder the flock that's all could be applied on the back to cover but um, I'm gonna show you how to work with the alcohol inks Oh, by the way, the, those have been sent uh, to me by um, Lavish Laces. Thank you. Um, anyway, um, 
And another thing I was playing with, you can add your flower inside there. Just put the paper inside and add the flower. You know, it's, it's like endless, endless possibilities. And Karen just does an amazing job. Um, anyway, let me show you how I'm uh, coloring the edges of my regular um, bottle caps. So I will take my alcohol ink and I already applied some of it inside. You see? Right in there. So um, let me zoom in more if I can. So no, it's done. So I'm going to apply just straight on the edge. Oops, I colored my nails. Huh. Manicure. Done. You can scratch it from my to-do list. Okay, I'm just applying a good amount of the... Um, And you can do like several layers, let it dry. You can use your heat gun to dry it. Um, and I'm going to apply more right on top of the cap. Gonna cover somewhat of that print of the bottle cap. For you. Okay, let me heat it with the uh, um, wonderful manicure. <laughs> ah. Okay. Recording this video a second time, I actually deleted it by mistake, so <laughs> it's do over. Um, now you will take your uh, mixative's uh, gold and shake it. It's got the bubble inside. You can hear it. Sorry. Um, and if you will see, for right now, you still see the. Um, the ultra Michael Ultra uh, saying on on the tag on the on the cap, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just apply a couple dots. Just like that. And it's almost covered, but reactivated again, I can add more alcohol inks. And it's gonna reactivate that gold. You see? And it's really cool effect. You can let it air dry or um, just let it dry. Oopsie. So that's how I colored my um, my. Um, bottle caps if you want them to be colored on the other side if you don't want to cover it with the other solutions that Karen was very kindly offering you so many choices so now you're gonna take your image let's try you're gonna take your image you can take your glossy accents and uh, because I still have a liner inside, I didn't take it out of the cap, the plastic, I am applying some glossy accents right on that liner, on their sticking out edge and uh, in the middle, and I'm applying the glossy accents on the back of my paper. And I'm just fitting in the image right in there. And I love the effect of the glitter on an inside of my image under the glossy accents. Therefore, I'm just taking 
my um, glitter and just sprinkle it all, all over the uh, image. Okay, I'm just sprinkling. You can rub at it if you want to spread it, you know, more evenly. That part is done. And now you're ready to glossy accent it or crackle accent it. And as Karen said, you if you will add more of glossy accent on the outside of your inserted image that will hold it much better which is really really true you need to fill up the the sides first and then start to fill it up in the center okay that way your image is gonna be um, look you know more professional I would say uh, much better much better outcome so and you just try to add this glossy accent or crackle accent um, without bubble effect as much as possible evenly and if you will let it sit on a flat surface it will evens itself and you will get this beautiful beautiful um, result so um, and you can add as I said you can add the image on the back of your um, oopsie of your cap if you're not happy but your edges are gonna be colored and it's gonna give you that finished uh, gl glossy sparkly look well I hope you like it uh, try all these su suggestions that Karen offered and uh, myself to put the flower inside of the cap um, to put the flowers on out clay flowers on outside put some beads outside of your uh, cap just play with it it's really really lots of fun and I will include the link up below to Karen's video uh, to well it's not tutorial but she uh, explained it so nicely and you will get a kick out of her video for sure well thanks for watching stopping by and subscribing and showing your support and love to me um, love you talk to you later bye